Chips. It is possibly awesome here, and welcome back to the cookie. And today I am back with another episode of Wizard 101. So last where we left off, we uh, had a very anticlimactic boss day, seeing as how like a bunch of level 300s or whatever jumped in and like killed them both in one shot. But they were both pretty popular bosses, so I could see why that happened. Because they're easy and they're popular at the same time. So, today we are going to be continuing with the main quest. Why did my voice do that? The main quest? The main quest? <laughs> and we are going to be defeating some fire elves today. So, we should probably go find some. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure they're all the way on the other side of this town. So, I will be right back when I get to a uh, fire elf. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. See some fire elves. They're about to be taken down. I just need to wait until that magma man gets out of the way. I'm gonna go somewhere where there isn't a magma man that I could catch accidentally instead of a fire elf. I'm just gonna snag this guy straight off the street. Hey, buddy! You wanna die? Yeah! Let let me kill you! Okay, so we need to defeat at least four of these because we need four um thingies. We need four arrows. Alright, so let's immediately throw a shield on us to be safe. Okay, here he goes. No, please. Oh my god. Snake, again? Really? Why is everybody in Firecat Alley so rude? I mean, you don't need to shock me with your tail. I'm just trying to kill your master. I mean, really? That's kind of rude when somebody's just trying to kill your master? You, like, flip out? Why? Why would you do such a thing? I mean, that's really uncalled for. See, again, again, honestly, that is so uncalled for. I'm just trying to kill your master. Why are you flipping out on me? I don't understand. Hey, there goes Jasper. Yeah, Jasper. Okay, um, now let's see what spells we can throw. Uh, let's go for... Let's fight fire with fire. And shoot him in the face with a fire elf. And be like, ha-ha, I have turned one of your own against you. Yes. Murder. Murder. Um, I was gonna say something else, but I couldn't remember. I just forgot what I was gonna say. And, and like, hey, death! Death! Ah, oh, man! See, this is what I hate about this game. You can, like, go through a full battle, and then it's like, You did not collect any arrows! Sorry! Sorry about your luck! Okay, so... Come here, Fire Elf Hunter! I will destroy you! That's a nice name, Hunter. I'm, I'm going to assume that, that all Fire Elf Hunters are called Hunter. I mean... Just be like, hey, you, is your name Hunter? He's like, oh yeah, I'm a fire elf hunter. So, so I'm like, so, is your name Hunter? Your name's Hunter then. Uh, no, uh, my title is fire elf hunter. I'm my, so your name's Hunter. No, no, my name's, my name's not Hunter. Yeah, but obviously your name's Hunter, I mean. So, ma'am, ma'am, why do you, why do you as assume that my name is Hunter? Because you just introduced yourself as fire. What am I saying? I just went off on, on a complete like rant about how fire elf hunter I don't I don't know I don't know I, I'm I'm concerned about my own mental stability most of the time probably gonna look back at this and ed on editing and be like what what why did you do this to yourself <laughs> okay did he die yes death death to hunter and we collected an arrow sweet okay give me the give me these health pips I require these health pips yeah, give me them health pips. I want those health pips. Sweet. Now give, I can take on either one of these fire health hunters. He disappears. I have conquered one. <laughs> I have conquered. I have conquered yet one of them. Okay, let's let's take down his damage a bit with a dark fairy straight on the spot, and then and then immediately afterwards we can hit him with. Uh, one of those fire things where it's like the really small ones, but they're still good. Although I'm not sure that would kill him. Whoa! That was a backflip! Anybody else just see that? It was like, woo! And immediately backflipped over. That was cool, actually. Alright, let's put a shield on me so I can actually do this fire thing with success. With the snake again? Really? Are you honestly continuously going to just hit me with snake? Because that's rude, man. That's like actually legitimately rude. Okay. Let's see here, um, 
just hit him with the small one, because we got the firepower now. Because whatever he takes away, we should be able to knock back on. And he only has 45 health left, and this spell calls for 45. So hopefully, we should be able to take him out now. Yes. Yes. Booyah! What you want? Yes, die. Die in flames. We collected two of four arrows. Sweet, we only have two left. Hi, Anna. Nice to see you. Where's Elsa? Hey! But um, no one in the history of the world has ever made that joke before. Fire Elf! Yes! I will murder you in cold blood! That actually sounds really bad now that I think about it. I will murder you in cold blood. Like, why? Why, Self? Why did you do this? I'm just gonna put this on so I can... Snag an extra pip, since this costs none, and then I should be able to kill him instantly with the ghoul. So yes, die to my death. Die to my death. Die to my death. Why did I say die to my death? Die to my death spell is what I meant. Yeah, die to my death spell. Not to my death, because I don't, I don't want to die. It's not killed me. Yes! That was the quickest battle ever! Yeah, we got an arrow for it! Sweet! Okay, we just need one more, one more arrow. From one more fire elf. Who wants to give me an arrow? Would you like to give me an arrow, sir? Why didn't you pick me up just then? Yes, there we go. <laughs> give me an arrow. Uh, sir, I require an arrow. And, um, in order to get it, I'm going to murder you. Yeah. You're just gonna die. Right now. Because, you know, I... I feel like, you know... <laughs> you're on there. I feel like... Actually, just asking you for an arrow is too much, and I'm just gonna, yeah, just gonna kill you. I'm just gonna kill you for it instead. I mean, it's just an easier route than, you know, actually sitting down and talking and saying, Hey, could I just borrow one arrow of yours? And you'd be like, oh, yeah, sure, no biggie. You know, it would be it would be funny if you didn't do that. Like, what would you do, kill me instead? And I'd be like, I know, right? It's so crazy. Yeah, I got the arrows. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, man, I really need to work on my commentating skills. I'm just over here, like, rambling 70% of the time. So yeah, I think I'm I think I'm the average YouTuber now. Hey, no, I'm just I'm just kidding. I actually really like a lot of YouTubers. I wonder if you could tell by my speed paints. Hello, Private Quinn. Great. Thanks for doing this for the Fire Elves. I did it for the reward. What are you talking about? If the Fire Elves are cursed or enchanted, and I bet my life they are, this arrow should reveal who did it. Who done it? Do 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 do. Who done it? Do 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 do. What am I doing? Greta Darkkettle used to teach alchemy at the school. She might help if you bring her the arrow. Oh, okay, so we're going back to Creepy Witch Lady, who we built the... who we helped build the pocket harpsichord... who we helped get materials to build the... I don't know... I'm trying to say we helped get materials for her to build the pocket, har the pocket harpsichord... Pocket harpsichord! Work mouth! Mouth, I require you to actually, like, work properly. Ugh. Okay, let's go. Hey, Gretel. Yeah, Greta, remember me? Yeah, um, I have this arrow. So, you found me. What do you want? You can tell that Ambrose I'm not coming back. I literally just saw you, like, two episodes ago. You explain the curse upon the Fire Elves. Greta takes the arrow you brought, then chuckles. He's a good soul, that Quinn, but what he knows about magic, you probably learned your first day. I need more than this. To find out who cursed the Fire Elves, I'll need a charred knife from one of those Magna men roaming the street. I'll be waiting. Accept Riley Life Blossom Level 8 as your friend. Um. Ah. Uh, no thanks, man. Sorry, but I just... Um, no. No. Okay. Well, we need a charred knife from the Magma Man. Please don't tell me another one of those friendship requests is coming. I'm not being mean. I just feel like friending people for no reason is kind of stupid. So, yeah. Like, I understand friending them after you've been in a battle together and you're like, Yeah, bros! But, no. Hey, Magma Man, would you mind giving me your charred knife? I kind of need it for, like, to find out about this curse on the Fire Elves and stuff. But, uh, no? No? Well, I guess I have to kill you then. Okay, um... Let's just smack him with one of these. That way I can save pips and still do damage. It's really cold where I am right now, and I'm... 
kind of like freezing actually. So let's keep moving. Let's see. Um, goal? Would you like a goal, sir? Just a casual goal to make your life warm and happy and fuzzy? Except, you know, it won't. It'll actually like kill you. Like, see? Look at this. Oh, this great death. For only 19. Why am I yawning so much? For only 19.99. Yeah, see, it kills you and gives me life back. I think it's a great deal. Okay, let's see. I think one more. Actually, just to be safe, let's throw a fire cat. And that should be enough to kill him. Please give me a charred knife the first time. Please give me a charred knife the first time. That would be most appreciated. Ow! Rude! Okay, please give me a charred knife the first time. That would be much appreciated. Please? 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 I know this is gonna kill you, so please? Pretty please? Yes? Yes! Oh! What you want? What you want? Alright, let's go find some health, and just so in case I have to immediately go back out and do another battle, I'm not, like, on the verge of death, because uh, I feel like that'd be bad. Ooh! Mistwood! Yes! Give me Mistwood. I never craft, but it's fun to collect off the ground. Okay, uh... That was close. That was really close. I thought that magma man was turned the other way. He would have got me if that he was. Okay, we got the charred knife thing. Hello? You got the charred knife? Excellent. This'll show the school I know what I'm doing. Okay. Greta sprinkles magic dust on the charred knife and arrow. Aha! The fire elves have been cursed by a banshee's whale. All you need is a lock of her hair. A banshee? I don't really want to face a banshee. I saw one of them in Supernatural a few nights ago, and, uh, yeah, no. Can we not? Can we, like, not? Is that an option? Can we just call the Winchesters? Talk to Private Quinn. He could prove useful. He may know of a banshee lurking nearby. Okay. I guess we're- I guess we can't just call up the Winchesters, which is really inconvenient, I mean, wouldn't that be what they're for, to just be like, Hey, uh, I got this monster problem, and they're like, okay, we're on it, and like, Ghostbusters theme place? Isn't that what it's supposed to be? No? Okay. Well. Hey, Quinn? Yeah, uh, she said that you know nothing about magic, but you would know where Banshee was, so how does that work exactly? Yes? Hello? Hi. Hi. Banshee's whale. That sounds like a wicked curse. Good thing you convinced Greta to help. I don't know if that really convinced... I don't know if I really convinced her. I was kind of just like, hey, can you do this? And she was like, sure. I've received reports that a Banshee is up to no good. I know who it is, too. Bastila Gravewind haunts the last tower at the very end of Firecat Alley. Okay. Defeat her in battle and snip a lock of hair from her wicked head. Greta needs that hair to save the elves. All right, we should be able to do that this episode, so let's see. Let's check our map here. Maybe she's there. Okay, so fastest way there is to get on, let's see, this route. No. Okay. So the fastest route is actually the one on the left. So, yeah, I guess we could do that this episode. I mean, with Team Up, if it's anything like Boss Day, we're going to get, like, we're going to get, like, a level 90,000 in the room and she's gonna die within one hit so yeah we should be able to do that this episode so why not I mean we haven't done much anyway we okay I'm just I don't know what to say anymore so I will be right back once we get there hey look it's fire globe theater which still looks like nothing is wrong with it at all okay so we're at the tower and immediately I see a wooden chest over here Give me that, give me that gold. Yes, 13 gold. Sweet. Okay, uh, let's see here. I think we should team up. Yes. Let's team up immediately. Uh, oh, hey! Wow, wow, okay! Well, this ought to be easy. Alright, so we got Adam S., which is ironic because I know an Adam S. in real life, and he's... Alright, I mean, I don't talk to him much, and he seems okay, his laugh's kind of annoying, but... But, he's alright, anyways. And, uh, our Rebecca U, which is also amusing because Rebecca is my real name, not the U, though. So, yeah, we're here with two IRL versions of, like, me. 
Well, Adam is not really an IRL version of me, but he's cool. He's alright. So, um, I guess I will speed through this minute until we have to go. Actually, let's talk about Rebecca Yu. She's a life wizard. She's ready to freaking rumble. I almost said a different word than freaking, which would have made me upset because I'm trying to keep this channel PG-13, and it would have cost me more editing time. So... Anyways, Rebecca, she's cool, she's neat, she's a life wizard, she knows what she's doing, and she can heal people. That's basically Rebecca. She's so awesome. She will heal you when you need it most. That's what's so cool about her. And Adam, Adam's a storm wizard. He's ready to freaking rumble. He's ready to, like, pull out all the damages because, oh, so, Fourth person. you are the one who has been undoing my work. The Fire Elves were to remain cursed until the wizard second, guys. city was in ruins. Your meddling in Malister's plans will cost you dearly, wizard. I shall send you back to Ravenwood as an example of what happens to those who oppose us. Okay, I'm coming now. Sorry, I I'm filming a video, and you know, for aesthetic purposes, I need to, uh, oh god, I hope they don't kill her on the first run, and then I'm left alone. That would suck, because then I wouldn't get the points for it, because I wouldn't technically be in the battle. Oh, I would cry. I would probably cry, actually. Okay, so, Adam over there is, like, helping himself, okay. Uh, oh gosh, please don't kill- okay, Fizzle, good. Please don't kill them. Okay, that only did 60 health. Okay, okay, phew. I got really scared there for a second. Alright, now... Uh, I'm gonna focus on murdering some of the fire elves, because I feel like that's probably the best way to go. She's throwing a banshee on a banshee, which is rather... Alright, but, um, okay, I'm gonna focus on killing off the fire elves, because they're the smaller ones. Okay, and she's getting smacked in the face. Okay, that's great. At least I'm not taking the heat. Okay, and he's in the hot spot, which basically means the first, the first guy is the guy in the first spot is should always be your life wizard because they can heal, and uh, because the first spot is normally the one that gets hit a lot by like different by all the enemies because you're in the first spot, so. Yeah. Okay, two fire elves down, and I'm gonna hit the fourth one. So with a really unassuming spell, it's just like pew. <laughs> I, I like how they killed them on the first. Those two killed their fire elf on the first shot, and I'm over here like meow. Death. <laughs> okay. Oh, well he's probably gonna get. Th I should probably stick it anyways, just in case. He fizzles. I'm gonna keep my spell there. And even if he does, even if it does go through, my spell will just be transferred to her, I'm fairly certain. So, yeah, anyways. Imp! Imp on Storm Guy! Wow, we just hit a patch of lag. No problem, though. Oh, fizzle. See, that's why. That's why. If I had taken that spell off, we would still be deal- Oh my god! Two fizzles in a row. Okay, at least that one went through. Uh, let's see. Please don't fizzle self. Yes! Ah! Oh, die, final fire elf! Now I can say I've actually done something in this battle. Yes! Murder! Murder the fire elf and give me some health back. Woo! Death to fire elf. All right. All forces straight on her. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just gonna throw a fire blade on myself. Because I feel like... Yeah, no, with that amount of health, they won't kill her this round, but still, I will be able to help out a bit with damages at the end, so hopefully that's a thing I can do. I think it is. Okay, he heals himself, all good and dandy, and let's see here, what is she throwing? She's throwing the scorpion, which shouldn't kill her. No, it's not gonna kill her, but it's gonna do quite a bit of damage, which is good. Um, that's not gonna kill her either. So, at least my fire blade does not look totally stupid. Um, how much health does, does she have left? She has 95 health left. Uh, I'm gonna throw a fire cat just in case something goes wrong. 
Seriously, if all of their damage spells go wrong beforehand, and I save this battle, that would be so awesome. That would be great. If I end up killing her at the very end, that would be amazing. Please fizzle. Yes! Okay, one fizzle. Please fizzle. This would be great. Oh my god! Please let me kill her! Oh my god, that would be amazing. Am I gonna kill her? Am I gonna straight up kill her? I'm gonna kill her! Oh my god! Yes! Oh! Uh, what do you want? Yes! Death! I did it! That's so awesome! Okay, uh, and we finished that quest. So, ooh, I got a hat. Okay, so let's go straight in. And... No, not straight in. We just finished a battle. Let's go back to Greta, and I will be right back when we get there, because this might take a while with my slow walking person. I wish I had a mount so bad. <gasps> Is that a silver chest? Oh, we're gonna try the silver chest. I, don't, I can't remember if we need crowns to open this, but hang on. You don't know how to open a magic chest? How tedious. I hate him. Most chests are locked magically. To break the spell, you'll have to solve a puzzle. If you can solve the puzzle, the chest will open and you will be given a reward. Is that everything? Good. Please don't bother me again. I hate him. Have I mentioned that? Alright, let's try this out. Okay, so what exactly is the puzzle? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Retry. There we go. Start with some things. Okay. Left arrow or A moves the keychain left. Right arrow or D moves the keychain right. Up arrow or W or spacebar speeds up the falling keys. Catch five skeleton keys in a sequence to win. The sequence is shown on the lower left, and the key you need to catch next is highlighted. Catching a bomb, catching four wrong keys, or running out of time loses the game. Catch watches to get more time and avoid ice keeps. Okay. We're gonna win! We're gonna win! Yes! Oh, we get a silver chest! Sweet! Nice. See, I'm glad they changed the puzzle, because the old puzzle on the silver chest was really- Only 18 gold, are you serious? Okay. That seems unfair, but okay. Now, on to Greta Dark Kettle. Hey, Greta. We got that, uh, hair you asked for. Ah, you have a lock of the Banshee's hair. After this, Ambrose should believe what I've been telling him about the death school. What? Greta burns the lock of hair over a white candle and then hands the melted wax to you. Done. Tell Private Quinn that the wax from this candle can break the curse on his precious fire elves. Sweet, let's go do that. Hey, Private Quinn, I'm coming your way on my like really slow wizard legs. Why is this the speed I can, I can run faster than this in real life? And that's sad that I can run faster. Like, I don't run. I don't- actually, I can run. That's, like, the only sport I'm decent at in, um, in, a gym class. But I choose not to run. I choose not to run because, you know, that wastes energy. You know, you have to actually use energy to do it. Hey, Private Quinn! You have a cure? Great news! I've taken the wax from the candle and mixed it into the potion. I hope I did it right. You'd better do the rest. Why? Why me? Defeat the Fire Elves and their leader, Prince Alakane Swift Arrow. The potion should then break the curse. Good luck, wizard. Okay, so now we have to defeat six Fire Elves. Uh, but we're running out of time for this episode, so I think we're gonna save it for the next episode. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Possibly Magical. I hope you enjoyed. I think that's all I had to say. Stay strong, I'm gone. Bye, all my chocolate chips.